Okie dokie, you ready for this kids? Aye aye captain. Hey guys, it is me, Miss Match Blossom, and today we're going to be talking about just some important facts about, I don't know, what is Hanfu? If you are new here, I am a Hanfu enthusiast. More so if you were directed toward this video and were told either by the friend, the internet, or a family member, Miss Match Blossom, what is Hanfu? Like, what, what's the purpose of people wearing it? Let me dive into the basics of what Hanfu is so you have the gist of why people wear it and why people love it. So what is Hanfu? It's a historically traditional garment that is from the Han ethnic group and it was a very important style if not fashion. It's very important because it does play a role in not only fashion society back in the day, but it also plays a role in what importance were by class, people, ideas, everything. It had a very important tool just like everything else does symbolisms or metaphors included. A lot of people may ask, what's its importance? It established people by historical style, like either by your status back in the ancient times, whether your status was either wealthy, middle class, or even civilian status, or it identified like what you could have in society, whether you were an official, or either a emperor, or a crown prince, or crown princess. It was very important since there's several different types of Han Fu establishment. Now the reason why I bring this up to people when I say, why are you talking about it like this? To be honest with you, it has to do with nowadays style of Han Fu. Now there's different types of Han Fu even nowadays. Han Fu is in either different subgroups and I'm gonna just list some categories that Han Fu can be broken down into from today's evolved substyles. So one of them would have to be just by dynasty. So a lot of people choose to wear their Hanfu either by different courses of dynasty throughout the day or whenever they feel like wearing it, or they wear a specific style from a specific dynasty that they feel more in tuned or more closer or connected to. So for instance, some people may wear the Song Dynasty or the Ming Dynasty or the Tang Dynasty because that's very well known and popularized. So they might go ahead and wear it. Now if you can see my outfit, it's very inspired by the Song Dynasty. So it kind of represents different dynasties and how different emperors had different roles for different fashion choices. I'm not going to go into that here because I'm just explaining what Hanfu is. I'll link down below the Off the Great Walls video about it. It's an older video but it breaks it down very nicely. Another category is going to be Lolita. I know this sounds really silly. Hanfu and Lolita? What? No, we're not talking about the Lolita book. Please don't. Don't. No. There is a substyle in Lolita called the Han Lolita, which is inspired by the Han Fu clothing or the Han clothing. And you can wear that as a substyle as long as you're not only wearing it properly and respectfully within the Han group, but also within Lolita's construct of what Han Lolita is and Lolita itself. Now the third substyle would have to be modernization. There's a lot of different people who wear it like and they break it down to look more casual fashion as in what we have it right now in the 21st century. There's a lot of people who wear a Hanfu that's modernized, so they don't have to wear either as much layers as a Hanfu from a certain dynasty would, or they wear it more simpler because they either want to wear it to work or to a certain setting that they feel more relaxed or comfortable with. That is a third option out of the categories of Hanfu. I want to say this is a fourth category because this is what I personally noticed and a lot of people have contradicting views. And the fourth substyle of Hanfu, in my opinion, in my belief, would be the sea drama slash like fashionized Hanfu. What do you mean? And I'm talking about the Hanfu runways that you see, I mean it could correlate to that, where you see a Hanfu runway fashion show. That could correlate into this style for the fourth substyle, but it really goes into the C drama dramas that you see on either TV, internet, whatever you watch it on VPN. I normally say that's the fourth substyle because it has to correlate with how it is a bit fashion inspired and more of its own independent nature of being fashion driven, but it has Han elements from the Han Fu fashion itself, either from different dynasties. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, okay, well, what should I wear with it? Like how I do it because it, it looks complicated, right? It can be if you don't know what you're doing and you don't understand. Here's some accessories that kind of go with your Hanfu if you've already made the purchase or looking into Hanfu or understanding what substyle or genre that you're getting into. A lot of accessories include the hair class or hair accessories. You can make some of your own as long as it's in relevance of the appropriate Hanfu style of hair jewelry or hair pieces. Or, and a hair pieces I mean this because this is a hair, as long as you're making it very inspired but also accurate towards the style itself. You can do the hair pieces or hair jewelry 
or a lot of people have the hair ties where you have a bow in the back or certain hair ties. There's a lot that goes into it. They even have sets that you can buy to go with the pins and the hair accessories that have the dangles or the beads that have jewelry on it, which is another meaning. Now you can get the Humphrey different bags with several different purses or bags that you can have either a crossbody or a messenger bag, or there's the little tassel bags that you can have that are handheld purses that have a kind of a, I wanna say a tassel string that opens it and closes it. And don't forget these shoes. Now people are gonna be like, what, is, what about those shoes? Do they wear sneakers? No, it doesn't mean you can't wear them, but it might look a little funny. A lot of Hanfi people who are very particular about their shoe wear, in the past, ancient China, in the past, would wear a lot of flat black footed feet that have a white sole around it. Or they would wear, if you were in higher class or you had the ability to spend more money, you could, of course, wear your embroidery shoes. And of course, if during the winter they had like fox fur around it, definitely look into that if you can. Now here's the big question that everyone's gonna be asking since the beginning of the video. Can you wear it? And how do you wear it? Or can foreigners wear it? I mean, if you haven't guessed already, or I'm just not from China, so. That should give you a hint. Yes, foreigners can wear this, and, and it's not discriminated against. They actually, there's a lot of people in China, that can't speak for everyone, but there's a lot of people within the Hanfu community that really appreciate you wearing it, as long as you wear it respectfully and within its culture's appreciativeness. Not appropriate, appreciate. Not appropriating, appreciate. Let's get that right, kid. Get that right, please. For crying out loud. Make sure that you wear it in the right way, whether it's by dynasty, in the right fashion, the right layers. If you don't know what you're doing, please feel free to reach out. There's actually a hot food community, which I'll try to post their link down below, where you can join and ask questions to people within that community who have either been there long term or short term that can definitely help you if they haven't already learned it themselves. And it's a great way to make friends also within the hot food community that can definitely uplift you and still encourage you and you can learn something from each other. So here are the five questions of the who, what, when, where, and how, and why, right? That we all have relating into Hanfu or that some people may have. How do you wear Hanfu? Well, you can wear it in any kind of way. The way you would wear it is you normally, you just hang it up most of the time in your closet. You don't want it to be folded because it wrinkles very easily. Well, why do people wear Hanfu? The reason why some people would wear it is either because of passion or because they're enthusiastic maybe even for nationalism because they feel proud of being in the Han community or in a Han culture if they're born with it or simply out of aesthetic purposes. And the reason why I say aesthetic is because some people like the aesthetic of it, whether it's in different Donghua or they'll watch it in uh, different sea dramas or they'll read it in books or they'll take photographies with it. Well, when can I wear it? Well, you can wear it whenever you want, but there are people who do have different opinions about it, so this is what I will say about this. Some people will suggest to you, hey, don't wear it every day, only wear it for occasions. And then there's the other half of people who say, well, I don't mind wearing it every day. It makes me feel comfortable and I'm still appreciating it without appropriating it. And it's different for everyone. Now there is different Hanfus that you should, that I would normally suggest wearing on a daily basis versus wearing it only on special occasions, please. Your money and your wallet will cry if you mess it up. And don't forget, there is funeral hanfu, so that's a little bit different in some cultures. Like for instance, I know in America here, we do wear black, and, and the reason why we do is just to kind of show respect to the dead or the deceased or the passing person and show that we are mourning for them and we do apologize for that. Funeral hanfu is more white. You might see some black ambiances in there or like little tie-ins but it's mostly wearing white hanfu. I feel like I had more to say, but I think that's really it. I do wanna say, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment box below. What made you get into hanfu, and what made you interested in watching this video? Did a friend send you, family member? Did the internet Google send you? Cause I know that's that can happen too. Let me know down below what made you interested in it and what makes you want to do it. And why do you feel like you, you can't? Because I know a lot of people say that in my comments, I wish I can do it. You can do it if you want to, it's only your ability and your perspective that tells you that you can. You can do anything in this world that you set your mind to, but you're the only one stopping you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you more, want more explanation videos about Hanfu and what it is. And hit the subscribe button for more videos like this so that you can keep on watching with that notification bell because YouTube will let you know when I have a new video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness and it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. I'll see you ladies and gents later.
Bye! Blossoming up! Bloop!